All right, our next match coming your way there. You see the tail of the tape, and what stands out to me is the experience that both of these men have, and they're going to need every trick they know to advance. Let's go to the ring. Let's not forget how Hoovy's match ended. It was a hard knee strike that came from out of nowhere. Of course, look, Shatter and I saw it. wrestled so many times you knew him so well but you didn't see him for quite some time years upon years how would you approach this match well let's be honest Rey Mysterio has a very unique style and he's constantly innovating offense but even when I knew Rey well I wrestled him probably a hundred times I lost 99 of them <laughs> I mean it made no difference the guy is just so good it doesn't matter if you know him well or you don't know him at all he's just so good he is a global phenom he is one of the best wrestlers of any lineage of any style of any nationality in history. One of the most successful and despite the obvious lack of physical size he has and the, the obvious perhaps underdog status in almost every match, he is just an incredible performer. And to you, Dave, I alluded to, and my memory might be incorrect, somebody hit me up on Twitter. The last time I saw these two in the ring, it was all the way back when WCW Nitro was on the air. There's something in our sport called heat where you just genuinely do not like someone. There's rumors that these two have a ton of heat that goes all the way back to Mexico. Is there anything you're picking up on here? Do you have a favorite in this match? You see, you're looking at the, the exchange there, just as you're talking there, Matt, and there, there was certainly no uh, warmth between the two of them, but I mean, you, it's, it's, as you said, you've got to pick Mysterio, I guess, just because he is the number one luchador on the planet, but Juventud is just such a great talent as well. It's just such a hard mm -hmm. one to pick a winner. Well, quite simply, the fact that two superstars hey. there, the size and the fame of Rey Mysterio and Juventud Guerrero haven't met in, in, what, 20 plus years? That's not by accident, that's by design. They must hate each other. You know, that little kid in the front row, Rey Mysterio gave him his glove at the outset of the Alberto El Patron match. And now it looks like Hoovy's taking a Hoovy's leaving? Walk. He's going to give up his spot in the Pro Wrestling World Cup? I don't believe that, but I alluded to the, the genuine disdain that these two have. It's personal. It goes beyond professional. There's a tantrum here from Juventud. Well, he was the fan favorite a little earlier in the mm. night, but now he's in there yeah. with Rey Mysterio, who is a genuine global fan favorite, and uh, he doesn't like the fact that it's a partisan crowd in favor of his opponent. You, you said that Rey Mysterio is just so good. What What is it? What, what is it that separates 
Rey Mysterio from almost everyone else inside that wrestling ring? For me personally, it was always two oh. things. It was the, is this going to go? Oh, we got uh, a handshake. Look at that. For me, it was two things. Number one, his offense. I could never tell what direction he was coming from. I could never figure him out. It didn't matter how many times I wrestled him. He'd come at me from a different angle every single time. I'm great at blocking punches and kicks. That's what I do. But when a guy does a triple Lindy off the top rope <laughs> and lands on the back of my neck, I've got no chance. And, and that was certainly part of it. And then the other part of it is the fact that he is just so resilient. You can beat the hell out of him. You can stamp on his back. You can hear his, sn his spine snapping. And uh, somehow he has that ability to find a second win just when you thought you were going to beat and hit his top form and hit all his top moves. And uh, it's incredibly difficult to put a guy like Rey Mysterio away. So uh, I figured him out once and I got lucky that day. And uh, the other 99 times he got the better of me. You know, during my early years of training, I used to watch Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Dean Malenko. Hang on a second here, two count. Nope, nope, shoulders were, were up there. I uh, used to watch Hoovy and Psychosis, uh, Hoovy and Super Crazy. These two men are woven into the fabric of Lucha Libre's history. I remember wrestling Rey Mysterio in a packed out arena in Mexico City a mm. few years back. And, How'd that uh, go? Probably one of the worst decisions <laughs> of my night of my life was turning up at the arena because it was like I was walking into a cauldron of fire. It was like I was wrestling a god himself in front of a baying crowd of Mexicans who this was their guy, this was their hero, and believe me, he wants to go back to Mexico and let them know that he's qualified for the finals of the Pro Wrestling World Cup to represent them. It almost goes beyond Mexico, it goes beyond San Diego. It's world-renowned Rey Mysterio. His leg sweep there, cover kick out as the action begins to quicken the pace. Starts to heat up. You know, what I've been noticing, Matt, over the last couple of minutes here, is although these two apparently haven't wrestled with each other for a couple of decades they were telegraphing everything Absolutely. each other was going to do they still know each other so well well listen the, the sport itself doesn't change i know it evolves but it doesn't change the moves are the same they might be called something different and Stu, you could talk about this as well there's still a, a million reversals to a hammer lock that you just you don't forget even though you haven't tied up with a guy in some time no that's absolutely true and of course you have to look at a guy like ray mysterio and you see all these lo young luchadors coming through the ranks in oh, around the world and the best thing you can ever do as a professional wrestler is steal from the greats. And I guarantee yes. you, people are constantly stealing moves from Rey Mysterio. I'm sure they're constantly stealing moves from Human Dude Guerrero as well. And of course, many, many times Human Dude will wrestle guys who steal Rey Mysterio's moves. And many times Rey Mysterio will wrestle guys who steal Human Dude's moves. So they have a certain familiarity by virtue of the fact that people steal their moves. Mm. Hard knife edge chop there now. Hoovy's going to try to devolve this. Although Juventud's Lucha Libre ability is well documented, if it turns into a fight, I have to believe that it benefits the juice. It has to be said that although Lucha style of wrestling has been huge nice. in Mexico for Whoa. years and years, the, uh, the growth of Lucha globally over the last couple of years, thanks to the likes of Lucha Underground, has been incredible. And what a coup it has been by WCPW and the Pro Wrestling World Cup to get the creme de la creme of the luchadors on this planet right here in the UK for this tournament. That's right. That Lucha Underground is certainly good in spite of the commentary, but let's let's not go there. Nice put it on mute. <laughs> Wheelbarrow into the arm drag, spills Juicy onto the floor. What does Ray have in mind here? And Mysterio's got a baseball slide underneath. Oh, Hoovy nope. ducked it. Pop. Mysterio oh. is on the Ooh. apron here. Hoovy's grabbed his foot. And the kick was able to put Hoovy back. And ow, ow. Chops the legs away. Mysterio lands hard on his back. I think Hoovy playing a little possum from that kick, catching Ray Mysterio by surprise with the leg sweep and uh, the spine of Ray Mysterio bearing the brunt of that landing on the hard ring apron. Mm. Cover here, little lax, no leg hook, Ray's shoulder up on one, sits up, gets his shoulders off the mat. Hooven 2 takes advantage of the body positioning and now looks to wear down his smaller opponent. Yeah, you're never going to beat Ray Mysterio with a leg sweep on the apron. It will certainly take the wind out of his sails, but I think Hoovy did that more as a uh, more as a glow, more as a fact mm. that, hey, I've got you now. Just so you know, I'm on top, buddy. And here we go. Ray's going to try to alleviate the pressure by getting himself back up to a vertical base now, trying to put the elbows in and create a little bit of space, and he's doing that now, as you can see. Mysterio is going to go to the ropes. He goes over the top and now oh my god nice. taken down by that strike into the face I'm you, similar to the knee that we saw That's earlier right. tonight against dos Caras, the point of the knee to the uh to the cheekbone of dos Caras. we just saw wait a minute we just saw the point of the elbow to the jaw of ray mysterio and uh, ray mysterio moving very gingerly after that again hoovy with another cocky pin there but there has to be a, a point at which that, that stops being psychologically advantageous and starts being a wasted opportunity 
direction there by Hoovy. What does he have in mind here? Ray ducks the clothesline, grabs a waist lock. Tried to go for an O'Connor roll, was held on there by Hooven too. Kick to the gut is blocked and caught. Nice way to turn it around there to the ends of Gurry, but Hoovy is still standing. Still standing, didn't go down. Oh, it was. Spoke a little too soon, perhaps, a delayed reaction there. Tried <laughs> look his at the best little to kid over Hoovy's right yeah, shoulder. Look how he's landed. Mysterio no. was going to look for the 619, I think. Oh, you will kick doubles over Ray. And you can hear the high-pitched 619s that's coming from that same little kid in the front row. That kid's maybe five, six years old. It just goes to show the influence of Rey Mysterio. Adults and children alike coming alive. It's a Mysterio fan for life right there. Out of space to make up. Ray takes advantage. Ray perhaps hearing those chants and knowing he's fighting on behalf of many people, not just the people of Mexico. Mm, what's he going for here? A little tarantula. The octopus submission hold here. Mysterio trying to wrench back that right arm. And that's a great move. We've seen guys like Antonio Inoki, who may be the size of you guys, and a guy like Rey Mysterio. That's a perfect submission hold, and anyone can use it. Certainly an unusual move for Rey to be busting out. He's pulling out all the stops in this, much the, in this match. That's how much the Pro Wrestling World Cup means to him. And to the viewers, both Dave Bradshaw and uh, Stu Bennett over here are about six foot six together. So there you go. Ow, it's Mitchy Driver. Uh, Stu's a little broader than me, though. <laughs> Just a little. Hoovy is, um, yeah, where's he putting Mysterio? It looks like he's positioning him for something. He's gesturing to the crowd. This is bad news for Rey Mysterio. Sure, high flying offense he's going for here, but uh, nope. Rey Mysterio just nice. too fast. Hoovy was perhaps going for a 450 at that point. You know, there's one thing about Rey Mysterio, those slow twitch muscle fibers, he knows how to be explosive at the right times. He paces himself, he moves slow when he has to, but he's explosive when he needs to be. Reminds me of guys like Tiger Mask or Dynamite Kid to our fans from way back in the day. And now it's Mysterio who's going up the top. Oh. Ruby lured him up there. Turn about fair play. As the What Culture Pro Wrestling logo on the turnbuckle, the placement of it tells you everything you need to know. Ray Mysterio now balanced precariously on this top row, but what is Hooven to try and hear? Looks like a Frankensteiner. <laughs> Nails it. Execute, execute to perfection. Mysterio He's going hold, up for more. He's holding his like back what Hooven did there. He went lateral. He went from one corner to another. That is how well these two know each other. Huge Cover, splash. Leg hook. No. Oh, oh, wow. oh, man. Wow, a hair's breadth away from making the finals of the Pro Wrestling World Cup on behalf of Mexico. But there we go. We talked about it earlier, the resilience of Rey Mysterio. Big judgment call there from referee Joel Allen as to whether that's a two or a three. And this, of course, our first of our double main events still to come. The local <clears throat> hero, Joe Hendry, gets a title opportunity. The prestigious one. Give him right, his true sorry. name. I Big fan whatever. of the prestigious one. Moving on. Back to the match in the ring. Most people wouldn't name themselves. Back as to the, the match in one. the sorry, ring. Sorry. Why should we waste time with Joe Hendry when Rey Mysterio is you in the ring? I hope he's not listening to this striker. <laughs> fought him once, I'll fight him again. Anyway, well, here we out. go. Hoovy. Dial it up. The 6 1 Booyaka! Mysterio up top. Rey Mysterio dives a front nice. splash of his own. Leg hooked. Both legs Two. Hooked. He got him. Look how quickly Rey Mysterio turned the tide. Congratulations. Who it's only fitting. Match. And advancing to the World Cup Finals in August, Rey Mysterio. It is only fitting that the face of Lucha Libre goes on to represent Mexico and the Lucha Libre style in the finals of the World Cup coming up later this summer. And I promise you, it's going to be hot. What a matchup and what a performance by Juventud. But Rey Mysterio, once again, as he has done his, all, his whole career, has just been too, too good. It's really interesting Yo. to see. Oh, is that? Hello. All right. Well, a handshake and a raise of the hand by Hoovy for Rey Mysterio. A nice show of respect as Rey Mysterio joins Pender L0M as the Mexican representatives in the World Cup Finals. 